want to get right to that deadly apartment fire in Dunedin. Residents are back at home at a Dunedin condo complex this noon after a very frightening early morning fire. The blaze at the Scottish Towers 2 was quickly contained, but the news of a neighbor's death leaves many people there with heavy hearts right now. Bill Logan is live on the scene. He's been looking into what happened since very early this morning. Good afternoon, Bill. Yeah, I can tell you that right now the investigators are on the scene here, but it is really a sad story because by the time first responders got here this morning, uh, they arrived for a call of smoke. But as soon as they got here, they found out there was little they could do. By the time residents at the Scottish Towers 2 condo complex were awakened by all this fire department activity, one of their neighbors and his best friend had lost their lives. The first calls came in just after 5.30 a.m., but when firefighters arrived and finally got into that second story unit that had windows thick with smoke and soot, they realized there was little they could do. And upon entry, they found uh, the fire was extinguished by itself, and they found a male victim and a dog, both deceased in the structure. Uh, I'm two floors up from his apartment, so it was scary. Gail Hanna says the man she knew simply as Ron or Ronnie used to like to sit outside here on the patio and smoke. Initial investigations as to whether or not a lit cigarette or some other ignition source started the fire were not conclusive. The state fire marshal and crime scene techs from Pinellas County are calling the studio apartment for additional clues while the folks who live here mourn a loss of one of their own. I feel terrible for his dog, too. It's really sad. He just adopted that dog several months ago. He was a rescue, rescue dog. dog. Yeah, oh I know. And I just saw him yesterday, and I was telling him how calm the dog had gotten because he's, you know, he's growing up. So it's really sad. Again, the investigation into exactly what caused this still ongoing. We will be receiving some more information throughout the afternoon, we are told, including this man's name and perhaps what started this blaze. Reporting live in Dunedin this noon, Bill Logan, ABC Action News.